Hi Dennis, uh, Mike here, Well in Watches, and uh, this video is just an, an update for you regarding the Rolex uh, Sea Dweller uh, watch which you sent in. Uh, I have uh, managed to redo all the uh, case seals and gaskets and uh, give the case back a bit of a clean up and we'll go to that in a second. So you can zoom in here so you can get a look at the, uh, the watch. Uh, I've checked the movement on the time grapher and I see absolutely no reason to service it at this time. The timekeeping uh, is really good, it's got good amplitude, practically no beta error and uh, it's running within literally a couple of seconds a day according to the machine so no need to strip the movement out and give it a clean, it wouldn't really benefit at all from, from uh, having that kind of thing done. Now when the watch was uh, received, the bracelet was removed so that the watch head could be worked on. Um, the case back uh, itself is a two part case back. Uh, this darker metal inner bit and then this stainless steel uh, outer part and it was, it, was, it was tight but it wasn't as tight as it should be. And, um, and so some gunk had managed to get inside the thread and inside the, uh, the secondary part of the, uh, the case back. And um, so yeah, the case back came off uh, a lot easier uh, than it should have done. But the uh, the case back, the two-part case back, has been taken off. Um, the crud and, and gunk has been removed. It's then been washed, cleaned, um, and then both the inner and outer have been given a, a nice grease seal. And then they've been um, the case back has been put back on nice and firm uh, with the correct tool. Which I'll show you in the second. Uh, the the crown, uh, the crown was removed, and that was given a good thorough clean before being uh, re-greased. The outer crown seal was also removed, cleaned, and uh, re-greased. And the uh, the outer uh, the outside thread or the internal thread, depending on which way you want to look at it, uh, that was uh, cleaned as well. There's bits of um, debris stuck in the thread, uh, which was not making for a very smooth. Um, screw down crown so that was cleaned out and uh, the whole thing's been re-greased and uh, sealed up nice and tight so it should uh, it should keep some good water resistance now the uh, the grease uh, that I use uh, for most watches especially this watch uh, is this uh, Seiko silicon grease um, this is used on most of uh, Seiko's uh, divers and uh, it's probably the best stuff in the business in my opinion uh, for keeping uh, keeping things water water tight, so this stuff is really extremely tacky and repels water like nothing else. So it's probably the best stuff to uh, to use on something like the uh, the sea dweller. So yeah, the movement's fine. As I said, everything's all been cleaned up and sealed. Uh, so I see no reason to service the movement. And uh, as I mentioned, uh, the tool used to tighten the case back. As most people know, um, Rolex use uh, proprietary case backs with these little notches, a bit like a coin edge, and um, a lot of uh, case closing tools can't really grip this properly, so that's probably why it wasn't as tight down as it should be. However, this tool, as you can see, has the, the correct coin edge fitting this die is designed to fit only the sea dweller model watches and this uh, this fits on quite nicely onto here it gives a nice snug fit and used in conjunction with this very large handle you can get quite a good amount of torque uh, in um, closing the uh, the case back up so everything is nice and tight as a drum. The bracelet, uh, unfortunately, as you'd already mentioned, the uh, the clasp has uh, a few issues which I have found, uh, and unfortunately, on on that respect of things, um, it's just a case of metal on metal wear, and some of the parts have just worn down uh, from from use, from taking the watch off, putting it on, things like that. Uh, I'm not sure how much I can do. Uh, in terms of repairing that because once that metal is, is, is worn away and lost it can't really uh, be effectively replaced 
um, and the upper links which I messaged you about that had come out completely there is some wear there which you will see in the uh, the photo pack uh, on the website regarding this specific watch uh, some of the pins that hold those links together are worn as well um, but I'm going to try and see if I can sort the bracelet out in, uh, in due course but other than that the watch head itself is all tip top and good to go for a good few years uh, to come so that's it for this update on uh, on this watch hopefully I'll be able to get back to you on the uh, the GMT uh, in a very short while until then uh, take care I'll speak to you soon